Back to the show. It's a tea time on Plus TV Africa. Miles, the eighth one of the world, very much in the building. And I still have Uime Afia Elijah uh, flanking me on the side. Now, there's this particular uh, syndrome that is all over the country right now. It's called the Jackpot Syndrome. At some point, we had a, we had we did a vox pop on it, and you, you'll be shocked at how many people just like you know. If I get a budget right now, I'm leaving right now, right now, right now. And there's another thing which is human trafficking that a lot of people don't even take serious. Now, some people will tell you like, uh, let me take you to the abroad. Don't worry. It's it, when you get there, you, your life will change. No, I'll pay for everything. Get okay? That's what it starts for. You guys go and follow anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on your own. Now, my guest today is the director of a particular movie that's about to hit your big screens tonight, right? I'm right, right? That's great. Tonight, it's called Kinani. We'll be talking to him. He'll explain to you what Kinani is. Kinani, Kinani, Kinani. But that's left for him to explain to you. Tola Olatunji is a Nigerian-born film director, producer, and screenwriter. He has written, produced, and directed several feature and short films and TV series that have been featured on different streaming platforms. Now, Kinani, the TV series, 2011. Uh, Yankee Hustle, TV series 2019. Ooh, that's a, that's a big one. Uh, issues of the Heart, Issues of the Heart 2020 and Kinani 2022. Lots of these movies have received uh, widespread recognition all over the globe. He's gotten various awards. He has a lot of money, by the way. Okay, see, wait, by, that, by that image, you can see that. This man, yes, you see what I'm saying? This man have money. He has a whole lot of money, and he's making he's making Nigerian proud. He's taking the movie industry to another level. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our guest for today, my special guest for today is Tola Olatuji. Welcome to the show, sir. Thanks, Miles, for having me. Thank you, guys. Really yeah, okay, welcome, it. welcome. Let's just drive. Let's just jump straight into it. Okay. Kinani, the movie. What is this about? Like, and let's even start with the name. What does that even mean? It sounded like it sounded like a Kenyan name to me at some point. It also sounded like a. Uh, and also, yeah. name, you also sounded like a South African. I'm like, what is it? Until you explained to me earlier, like, oh, but I'd like you to explain to people. You're very vast. You, you're the first person that actually nailed it. It's actually a Swahili way of pronouncing Canaan in the Bible, oh. right? So it's Canaani, right? And it's, oh. the, it's the promised land. The promised the promise land. Direct translation from Canaan. Okay. Okay. Wow. No. I'm impressed. The way you, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah. Now, what, ex what is this movie about? Because I, I read some tidbits about it here and then it's like okay it's about the whole jackpot syndrome slash human trafficking but let's hear from your mouth what what exactly so I'm the movie has it. multiple uh, faces to it but right. primarily it's a it's a movie um on love and hope right mm -hmm. it's not necessarily just emphasizing on um the jackpot syndrome, jackpot syndrome <laughs> or human trafficking because there are a lot of content out there in regards right. to that but what we did was to uh, talk about the issue of um, human trafficking mm -hmm modern day slavery and the the Thank whole you. idea of trying to jack at what you get it, get yourself into so we wanted to put that into some kind of uh, media content so for everybody just to be aware of it what do you is there, is there a particular screen for you like when people come with you the producers come with you uh with scripts it's like mm -hmm. you know what i have scripts. can you say this my what, what do you think just you see say, uh, you know, i'm not going to do this or okay or you just take anything because like, oh, let's do it maybe there's money absolutely so thanks for that question so personally i my when you ask me what kind of genre do i focus on right. it's usually on like things like social comments or um true life story that's what's really passionate about so anything that is not you know, has some elements of truth in it. I, it's usually not something I really want to do on. Mm. So yes, I definitely focus on those things. I don't take everything. And if if I get a dollar for every time somebody says, I have a great idea, can you shoot <laughs> this? I'll probably be a billionaire. Right billionaire. Now. <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing on you right now. Okay, we have a question for you. Okay, so my question is based on the industry. Yes. Um, Nollywood. So do you think Nollywood is where it is, like where it, it is? Do you think it is where it should be today. And um, secondly, um, there are some speculations that, okay, Nollywood is beginning to compete with the international scene. What do you think about, what do you think about I, that? I, I mm. definitely think it is. Uh, to, props to Nollywood because, you know, sometimes we don't realize that Nollywood has actually given a lot of us opportunities, regardless of what we think about Nollywood. Mm -hmm. is, it has given a lot of people like us opportunities to even have a platform, mm. right? Because if you, if you want to queue up and say you want to follow the Hollywood pattern, you probably won't make anything. So Nollywood has, become, it has morphed to a, a good place right now, and the potentials that we have for future things to be recognized internationally, just like we have Afrobeat, it's definitely coming. So Nollywood is definitely uh, coming up. I, I think it's a good thing, and for any aspiring filmmaker, 
she would um, she would be proud to say that Nollywood. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Okay, cool. You can be part of the conversation by calling in on zero nine zero nine eight four zero eight four zero eight and ask him anything. I mean anything. Don't worry. Don't hold back. Don't pity him. Ask him about anything you want to ask him. Now you said something. Oh, you want to ask because I want to okay, refer to something you said. Okay. You said something about Nollywood, yes. right? I want to ask this question. There's all there's been this debate in recent time about old Nollywood, new Nollywood, the founders of Nollywood. In fact, uh, the, some Yoruba. Uh, mm -hmm. Actors or community say they feel like, oh, we started the whole Nollywood thing. While the evil community feels like, ah, uh -uh, what are you saying? Now we start this thing with a big, big lane and all those things. You go and grab a copy. Like, what's your take on this old and new Nollywood? Are we not supposed to be just Nollywood, not the old Nollywood or the evil Nollywood, or Yoruba Nollywood? Good question. So, to be honest with you, I'm not a um, history expert on Nollywood mm -hmm. stuff, but I, I like definitely it? know that just two aspects that I know is that at least growing up, we what I knew as Maybe it wasn't called Nollywood back then, mm. where the people like the um, Ogundes and the, um, I think, uh, Afolayon family or something like yeah, that, the, right. the dad went, the, the old, like the classicals that they had back mm. then. Then Nollywood now morphed into some more of getting us into mainstream, which was more like a business, you know, where we, I think the creative left because there were no opportunities out there, because mm. people that were trying were not. We're not making it. Hmm. So when it came to mainstream, when it became more of a business, those are the people that took that content and put it out there for us to see. But I think now, uh, from my little understanding, yeah, okay. and this, don't, quote me, don't quote me on this, um, is that I think the creatives, the people that are actually creatives, are starting to get back into the industry. So it's mm -hmm. not just about creating anything. You know, if, if you're not passionate about what you want to do, you probably shouldn't be in that industry in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not just about selling uh, content. It's really about telling a story and impacting change. Uh, okay. So my other question is based on professionalism. Okay. So we've had so many um, cases of, you know, um, people in the industry coming out to talk about being raped and all those things. And oh, all. Goodness. So what's your opinion on that? Yeah. Honestly, I am not very, I'm not very conversant with those stories, to be honest with you. Uh, so I can't speak on it, but uh, yeah, you got me on that one, to be honest. <laughs> okay. You got me on that topic. <laughs> Alright, let's, 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 move, let's move back to Kinani now. Yeah. Uh, who and who and who are you working with? Who are the producers of this particular movie? Uh, who are the actors? I was supposed to have uh, Evie here today, but yeah, for some she, reason she was under the weather. Yeah. Uh, very, very painful. I was, I was really ready for her. <laughs> with all the questions. Yeah, huh? I was ready for there were some There were some questions I had for her, but it's all good. We're supposed to have her. So who are the people? Who are the, uh, so we have here? a very, very, very... Uh, right the from, from the cast, crew, writer, crew, everybody that was on this team, I had a perfect and a priceless uh, team. Um, we had we have Gabriel Folanyo as one of the leads. We have Evie Okujai as one of the leads. Um, we have um, Maria um, Jennifer Myro, oh, okay. um, Rob, um, Rogers Ofime as one of the producers on this stuff. Um, we have a lot of other people that. What made you really take this particular project? What made you take Kenani? Why? Why was it because Gabriel is there, Evie is there, and all this? No, movies? it's it actually wrote a uh, part of writing team. Um, oh. I also produced it and directed it. So it wasn't handed to me. Mm. Um, but I would say the story found me. The story actually found me. Because normally I had a list of things I wanted to do. And this was not on the top priority of things I wanted to work on. So it was, you know, like I said, it's after meeting some... Uh, can, I, can I call you? We have a, yeah. we have a caller? Yes, please right. go ahead. Yes. Hello, Elizabeth. Good morning, Elizabeth. Yeah, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Elizabeth. Welcome to the show. Do you have a question for yes, my guests? Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. Go ahead. You mentioned earlier about. Pardon? Kenan, you mean Kenan. I didn't get that, Elizabeth. You mentioned something earlier about the moon. Wow. You said Kenan, it means Kenan. Okay, yeah, it means the, he said it means the promised land, yes. Andrea, I think you know what, um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth from Ajegunle, please. Can you try calling back? We couldn't really hear you. Apologies, right? She said the only thing I could get from what she said was like you mentioned something about the meaning of Canaan. Mm -hmm. So maybe she just explain it again to you in case. Okay, so Canaan is a is a is a name in the Bible, the land of Canaan. So it's uh, it's it. The direct translation is the Promised Land. So we took that name and we we put it in an African pronunciation, which is Kenani. The A stretched out. 
So, like you said, it's more of a, the origin is Swahili. Okay, cool. Um, Elizabeth, I hope that answered your question, right? We can left. Just coming back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure you will. Okay, so let's let, let's move um, let's move forward now. What's what's the next step from this? Are we are we just going to have it in the cinemas, or are we going to have it on streaming platforms, or is it, how how are we how are we going to see this? I, I'm definitely taking it one step at a time. At time right? um, so right now we're just in the cinemas, right? And we're we're in all the um, nationwide, okay. and I think some parts of Ghana as well. Oh, fantastic. So, um, but also in the United States, we are also doing some leg work, which oh. we've got a lot of traction, oh, wow. as even like um, uh, mayors and uh, Congress people are actually getting that. It's oh, getting wow. the attention right now. So, oh, wow. <clears throat> technically, I'm just waiting to see what this, where the tie takes us, right? Um, oh, wow. So, hopefully, yes. But the end goal is to get, it, get on uh, mainstream. Which is Netflix or Amazon? Okay, mm, okay cool. Make 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 that uh, Netflix money. All right, well, I think <laughs> I think we have a caller by the way. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have Uche calling in from Maguro. Hello, Uche. Good morning. Uche. Yes. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Uche. Welcome to the show. Yes. Thank you. For, thank you. We have Tola Olatunji in the building. Please go ahead and shoot. I want to ask uh, Mr. Tola Olatunji. All right. If he gets the necessary support. From the Nollywood industry, in his age in the US, and he's trying to bring the movie down to Nollywood. Are they supporting him? Do they show up for him? So, is he getting that support? Because we Nigerians, you know, sometimes we try to look on each other. Is he getting the support? All right. Thank you very that, that was a, That was a fantastic question. Thank this, you. Listen, listen that question you asked is, <laughs> is my. We def, I definitely. Yesterday was the premiere. And right. the turnout was amazing. The the um and the, it's my it's our movie. And right. I, I can only speak for. I, I don't want to brag about it, but I you I should. Can, so once I in a while, confidently you should, you should tell give you the flowers if you put work in something. Why not? Yes, and I'm a, I'm a huge critic of myself, but I can confidently tell you guys go out there and watch it. It's it will change your life. Okay, it will change your life. The, uh, is that, I, I can is that how you're going to answer? That. You've answered this question like that. Yes, and uh, <laughs> the support is. Starting from today, because we are, we're, we, we're going to be in theaters today. So mm. whatever support that we need from Nollywood starts today. All right, cool. Uh, before, before I let you off the hook or let you out of it, because we, we definitely will have to go. Now, for every single kid out there, who because you, the creative industry right now it looks like the only thing that is working in Nigeria. Pardon me for other, other please. Yes, it's, it's true. The entertainment industry is, looks like, it seems like the only thing that is working well. Like we're putting this country on the global map. That's positively, true. right? Now, for every little person out there who's just looking at the screen right now, okay, when will I be able to do what this man is doing? Or what, what, when, what this lady is or what I'm doing? Like, how would I become, how can I become a director, a producer, or a screenwriter like or you? An what, or an actor. What are the tips, like five major tips that you'll give these people? I'm not sure if I have five, but I can tell you this right now. It's definitely that if you are an aspiring filmmaker, um, director, or anything, you are living in the best time of your life, right? I didn't go to film school. I, what? I didn't go to film school. Chai. I actually learned everything. And I've been doing this for so long. I actually learned everything myself, from camera works to directing to script On writing. On the job. I just you learned just it because I'm passionate about it. So if you're passionate about it, you have every resource. You don't need anybody's... Um, because like, right now, you could, from the... From the time you write the script to the time you get to the streaming services, even if you don't get on Netflix, you can get on YouTube. Mm. So you have every resource. There's no excuse for you not to be able to uh, live your dreams if you choose to. That's yeah. my advice for you. That's there. You have it. If you like, take. If you like, if you like, say we not, we not try for you. We have tried. You have a final question. Yes. For us. So my final question is, Kinani, what should we expect? I, I, I. I it's how he carefully chooses his words. Like yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, he always gets me on the on the hard questions. I, I I expect you to see change, not just in the mm. industry, but also see change in the way we think as Nigerians, right? And how we. I'll just say go watch the movie. To be honest with you, I don't want to give too much away, but I, I tell you, go watch it, and I promise you, this question will answer itself. Oh, 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 time, don't go. We can't take any more calls. No more calls. But you have to give out your social media handles, and how can we reach you? How can people reach you on social media if they want to connect with you? So to get anything that we're doing right now, we have a, a, a specific page, which is Kenani the, uh, the Movie. It's K-A-N-A-N-I 
the movie. Okay. You can also follow my page. I will appreciate exactly. that. Exactly. It's Tola Olatunji. I don't know if I need to spell that. T O L A O L A T U N J I, and I'm on. That's pretty much my um, uh, stuff on every. Um, platform. 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 All right, Thank that's you. about it. We came, we saw, we conquered, and we had an amazing time having a gist with it. Now, if you are not doing anything uh, this weekend, please go and see. Can I, I, I want to see. I have a lot of things to do this weekend, but I'm going to sneak out time to please. really go see. I really, I want, I want to watch it and give you a call later and say, maybe you said that you changed my life, or I'll just, <laughs> or I'll just say, oh wow, you were, you were actually right. So till then, I'm not going to say anything. And if, if I not, if, if I don't meet you <laughs> like that on Monday, I'll come here and come and talk about it. I'll put it all over social media. Pro I promise you that. Now this is where we draw the curtains today. But thanks for watching us. Always join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing. to to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on R2 TV. And if you're in the United Kingdom, you can watch it in London on Ben Television. And let's come back home. You can watch it on Star Time Channel 308 and DSTV Channel 408. A massive thank you to my production team, my line producer, uh, Precious, my director for today, AJ. Thank you very much. My camera unit, that's Mr. Richard. And Ed oh, why would I forget you now? Oh, you mean? Sorry. Before you go sack me. I'm my co host for today for making it happen. I, right, Mr. Olatoji, thank you so very much. Thank you so much. For coming and Thanks thank you for sharing me. some knowledge with us. We gotta go. Do not drink and drive this weekend. Whatever it is you do, do it in all moderation. Put God first and the rest is history. Drink a lot of water and mind your business. It helps you live longer. We out.